What is going on gamers? The Red Dragon here and we are taking a look at Battlefield 3 Flight School once more. This time around we're getting a little bit more advanced. We're taking a look directly at flares. I'm going to teach you when to deploy your flares and how not to make the mistake that this guy did. He deployed them before I even fired the missiles. Now all I got to do is get another lock on and now he's got two missiles that he cannot defend against. So I'm going to teach you how to stay alive a little bit longer. Getting into a chopper is one of the most exhilarating experiences of Battlefield. I absolutely love it, whether I'm flying or whether I'm gunning. Uh, but the problem is a lot of people don't know how to stay alive longer than 30 seconds to a minute. And they're constantly getting shot down. And so they think that, you know, things need to be tweaked and it's too hard. But it's not too hard. It's just you don't know how to use the tools correctly. So listen to this exchange and listen to all the sounds. Players out. Got a missile out. He's down. But their chopper survived. Oh, that's nice. Alright. The objective has been lost. Players out. So the first rule to flying is know your sounds, know what each one of those sounds means and that's going to give you an advantage on the battlefield. Uh, to the untrained ear that probably just sounded like a bunch of junk, a bunch of racket that made no sense whatsoever so I'm going to break it down for you what each one of those sounds meant. This first sound, the beeping, means you're being targeted. When it goes solid, that means they have a solid lock on you and they can fire a missile. They could hold that solid lock on it as long as they wanted to. When you start hearing that high-pitched beep sound that's really rapid, that means a missile is incoming. That means you need to deploy your flares. We're being targeted. We're locked. High-pitched beeping means incoming missile. I'll let you listen to it one more time without me commentating. Now here's the sound of you targeting an enemy. Notice it's a lot higher pitch than the last one of you being targeted. So if you can, you want to try to hold a lock until they deploy their flares. Now if they know what the sounds sound like, like this guy did, he's not going to deploy his flares. So I fired out one rocket, now I'm immediately reloading to make him use up his flares and then by the time I get my lock back on, I've got both rockets back in the canister and I can fire again in order to try to take him out. So then the question becomes, when do you deploy your flares? Do you deploy them as soon as you hear that incoming missile sound or do you wait a few seconds? And really it just depends on the situation at hand and the distance between you and whatever it is firing at you. If you're way up in the, in the air uh, and there's a lot of distance and it's going to take a few seconds for that missile to get there, then you want to hold off and wait a few seconds before deploying your flares. You know, you want the missile to be fairly close whenever you deploy your flares. That way it's going to be taken off track and it won't damage you. Um, if you're close to the ground and there's very little impact time between you and that incoming missile or if you're close to an enemy helicopter that's, that's targeting you, uh, then you almost immediately want to deploy your flares as soon as you hear that incoming missile sound. And uh, that's going to give you the best chance of survival. Uh, now a lot of people as you witnessed in the beginning what they'll do is they will turn around and deploy the flares as soon as they are uh, locked on with a solid lock on. Uh, I have done that before. I do it uh, 
fairly regularly because there's some instances where I just want to give away, uh, get away. I just want to buy some time in order to get me away from the situation. And if I take any more damage, then I'm going to be disabled or hurt too bad. So I, I don't even want to take a, a chance of, of trying to be hit. And if I feel like I can get away from the situation, then I'll deploy flares just to stop that lock on. Because if they haven't fired the missile yet, that means that they, uh, they're going to lose the lock on. But remember, they've still got that missile in the chamber and it's ready to go. So if they lock on to, to you again, uh, it's going to be probably bad news for you. Now, if you heard us earlier, I was calling out and letting my partner partner Mojo know whenever I was deploying flares he lets me know when he's deploying flares because you can double up on these things uh, so you can have flares in the gunner and pilot seat depending on your customizations so if you're flying with a partner you know try to get familiar with what what they have put on to their loadouts and what you have on and try to pair it up to get the best advantage that you possibly can and we like doing both flares because we we are pretty good as far as deploying the flares and knowing uh, when we can uh, avoid those incoming targets so that does it for this video if you enjoyed it if you thought this was the best flares video out there please do me a favor and just take a second press the like button also give me a comment let me know what you would like to see in future episodes and just be sure that you subscribe for more tips tricks and hints on battlefield 3